Welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Panel Ungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Panel Ungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel, and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to the amazing story of a non-Muslim German scholar who lived the prophet's lifestyle. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. There's no human on earth whose life was designed by Allah to represent all the needs of mankind, except the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. He lived as a rich man and a poor man. He lived as a preacher, a worshipper and a leader. He lived as a husband, a father and a father-in-law. He lived as a ruler and a subject. He lived as a single man, a man with one wife, a widower and a polygamous man. He married his daughters and buried his sons. The prophet, peace be upon him, had all the manners needed to teach mankind. He lived as an employee and a business owner. He lived as a tradesman and as a founder and leader of institutions. The Prophet changed his career three times, encompassing almost all human lessons. This is why the Prophet is referred to as the All-Inclusive. The books on his biography refer to him as the All-Inclusive. What does this mean? It means he had all life experiences. He represents all the aspects of mankind. His life has everything you need. This is the Prophet's biography, which is called Sira in Arabic. Because Sira means tracing someone's life and following in their footsteps. This is what we will do in this program. If you live the Prophet's lifestyle, your life will be better. If you live the Prophet's its lifestyle, you will learn finesse, persistence, productivity, accomplishment, manners, values, love and kindness to women. Let me explain with a true story. I was once attending a conference in Germany. The conference was held to discuss comparative religions and there was a German scholar who specialized in comparative religion. He studied all religions, comprehends them all and compares them together. When we spoke, he told me something amazing. He said to me, I decided to live Muhammad's lifestyle. Muhammad's lifestyle was a new term to me. He said, I mean Muhammad's way of life. I decided to live Muhammad's way of life. I am not a Muslim and I will not be, but I found that his way of life is the best way to live. I decided to apply Muhammad's lifestyle to my diet. Muhammad says, we do not eat until we're hungry, and when we eat, we do not eat to our fill. The man said, I decided to live Muhammad's lifestyle in etiquette. Muhammad says, your smile to your brother is charity. He said, I decided to live Muhammad's lifestyle in treating women. Muhammad says, feeding your wife is charity. He said, I decided to live Muhammad's lifestyle in creativity. For all Muhammad's solutions were creative and outside of the box. I decided to live Muhammad's lifestyle in terms of forgiveness, for he never remembered the wrongdoings of others and he never reminded others of their wrongdoings. Allah's peace and blessings be upon Muhammad. The man understood Muhammad's biography better than most. Some think the Prophet's lifestyle is nothing more than a beard and a garment, but the man got it right. It's a way of life. The Prophet's biography is actually the only one suitable for all times and places, being based on living thoughts and principles that can be implemented at any time. Let's take communism as an example. Communism rose, flourished, succeeded and prevailed worldwide. But in time, it started to die out, vanish and be criticized by people. After that, capitalism rose, flourished and prevailed worldwide. Today, people question whether capitalism is successful and sustainable or not. The Prophet's life was based on fresh principles that had never been adopted before. The Prophet, peace be upon him, set principles and morally succeeded through them. He managed to make a balance between two very important purposes, building a society and achieving results that make it successful, and building humans who would maintain the success afterwards. This is why when the Prophet, peace be upon him, died, his companions and their successors stood up to continue his path. If these living principles, which are suitable and adjustable for all times and places, are implemented, they will be popular and fruitful regardless of the location. It's interesting to know that someone out there is inspired by Muhammad to eat or have a better diet. I think when it comes to health and diet, we should really think what would 
put in our bodies because most things that we intake some of these things are not um they're not as needed as commercials make them they're, they're actually dangerous for our bodies so the way muhammad lived when he came to his diet was actually very interesting i remember reacting to something by what channel was that the fdd channel and they spoke about muhammad's um diet i feel like health should come first we should really take care of ourselves and our bodies and for many people we can see results maybe you even heal from whatever you're suffering from disease wise you're going to have a healthier body you're even going to feel good in some way because you stopped or you've eliminated some of the things out of your diet otherwise there are so many uh things that muhammad did that people are doing that we don't know of or people are following in his footsteps let me just say that yeah otherwise this was very very interesting let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video